Well, this year we're looking back at the last 24 years of programming and looking back at the fantastic people who have played over the years and also looking to the future with some new great young players who have never appeared at the festival before, so it's a great mix over the five days. I think the key thing is that Glasgow is a great jazz city. There's always been a, an enthusiasm for, for jazz in Glasgow. There was um, trad musicians playing in bars and younger musicians have come up over the years playing more contemporary styles of music. <laughs> Glasgow itself um, is just full of j just kind of crazy jazz fans as well uh, and there's a lot of young people now um, who are really into jazz you know you can't go to a jazz gig now without seeing the average age of the audience is between kind of 18 and 30. Somehow the nature of the city the uh, position of the venues and, and the quality of the venues and the variety of the venues and the bands makes it that more interesting. One of the things I really love is the venues in, in Glasgow and um, particularly, and it's such a brilliant venue, the old fruit market. I mean, there is nothing like it in the rest of the UK. There's nothing like it in most other countries that I've been to. Lonely Planet has just described Glasgow as the byword in style and chic. So what could be better this summer than spending a few days in one of Europe's most stylish and musical destinations while listening to some of the very best jazz from home and abroad. I think you should embrace the festival if you've never been before. It's a marvellous opportunity to really discover some of the most exciting music that's taking place. And even if you don't think you're a jazz fan, I think you will find a gig that you love. It's like ignore the preconceptions, go out there, see some music, and I truly think you will love Glasgow and love its festival. Mm -hmm.